This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm doing a little bit of this because I received these for this lady. And this is Ninja Bill's favorite figure. I'm just gonna go check his channel, you'll see Ninja Bill loves this figure. Um, even if he doesn't know it. But yeah, uh, the Thor Hanks decals for this, uh, it's uh, looking pretty good. I like the uh, the colors that I'm seeing uh, right now, but uh, there seem to be a lot of eyes. So we'll see what option Toy Hacks has for this. Uh, this I really like this character. Really, Strong Arm was a fun character from the R.I.D. franchise, and uh, I'm glad that uh, they did the Legacy release. Uh, so yeah, check out my review. Uh, but before you do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now, let's roll the intro. And now a quick look at strong arm before the decals. I still like this figure a whole lot. Um, she's to me a good representation. I don't have the original toy, but this works. Uh, nice yellow, blue and white, blue and white. The Autobot logo, you know, the black with the gunmetal. Um, looks really good. I mean, she has nice uh, colors, nice paint application. Um, you know, blue plastic with white paint, and then white plastic with black paint. Yep, it's a very good representation of the character. And what we get for the decals, it's actually four, four sheets, maybe five, five sheets. So you have what seems to be eyes, which means that's going to be a pain to apply. Uh, it looks to be for the alt mode. You have the Autobot logos. Uh, yeah, probably for the top of the truck. I'm theorizing, I really don't know. Uh, this is probably going to be two wraparounds for the siren. And a couple pin covers. Oh, they match the gunmetal. That's really good. A uh, couple other pin covers. Oh! Other eyes, these seem to be mis, uh, misprinted though, they don't seem to be where the line cuts, uh, but you have eyeballs, so oh, maybe, yeah, in the show that was more like that, so, so that's cool. Uh, a grill, some, I don't know, steel plates, we'll see, alright, so four sheets, and that's gonna look good. Uh, oh, wait, there's another one here that I just slid, uh, some... Part two of five. I don't know where that goes, but that looks kind of a chromey black. Reflective black. Looks good. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, so there you go. Final look at her before the decals. Sir, ride along regs. I'm with you. All right, let's take a look at what's left. Uh, many eyes. I chose the C option because uh, with the eyeballs, it showed that this they look forward. Uh, but there's so I didn't use any of the uh, blue chrome, but it would still have looked good. Uh, and that's all like the eyes, that's what's left on this. Here, I still have two Autobot logos. Uh, this is all used, and this is all used. Oh, so, yeah, uh, you use a lot, and she looks really good. First, the eyes I like the eyeball uh, throwback to the actual show, so that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing else for the face. Uh, you do have a uh, little gunmetal decal here and one underneath the Autobot logo. So that's a new Autobot logo. You have some gunmetal here, here and here. So that looks good. Really uh, pops out the, uh, the white line. Uh, you have two decals that go around the waist. So from here all the way to the back. And I have to say that this set was not fun to apply because 
The backpack gets in the way of applying the, you know, pin covers here. Uh, and then after that, the shoulder gets in the way of the arms. The arms get in the way of the shoulder. The foot gets in the way of the legs and vice versa. Like it's everything gets in the way uh, on this figure uh, when you try to apply stuff. So anyway, uh, new waist decal here uh, or, you know, crotch protection. Uh, you have a blue decal here and a yellow decal uh, in the elbow. Uh, you have a little knee decal right here new shin guards and then the feet three decals to give it a whiter look not sure why i guess in the show that's what she had uh, but these uh were kind of hard to line up uh, because you know everything the leg gets in the way of the foot like it's super annoying and that's pretty much for robot specific decals everything else is going to shine in alt mode and it's actually looking pretty good. Oh, and one thing I forgot to show is that little decal here. And there's decals, uh, the pin covers on the, on the inside of the legs. And I think that's pretty much for pin covers. There's, you know, four here. And oh yeah, and there's two on the arms. So it'll look good. So this is mid, mid transform, sorry. So final look at strong arm in robot mode. You have law enforcement written all over you. And in alt mode, I really like the look of strong arm. Uh, you know, she could be a little bit, you know, taller for the cab, but it's a good representation. I like this uh, this mold. I have to say though, the transformation is easier on uh, Elita One because uh, there's slight variations of uh, for the shoulders, uh, not just the the mold piece, but the the, the connection and everything. Uh, so yeah. Always twist the head first, because now you can twist the head, turn it around uh, when uh, she's transformed. Uh, but anyway, I like the colors on this one. Uh, it looks really good. The uh, it's a fair representation of the character. But I'm eager to see what Toy Hacks is gonna do for her. So let's take a look. So, what'd you choose? Now in alt mode, um, there's a uh, an extra line here uh, to match uh, what we have uh, painted already, uh, and then you have a little uh, enhancement here, uh, two decals with little silver things, so it'll look good. Uh, nothing else on this. Oh, actually no. Well, there's the windows. Um, so this is black chrome or reflective black uh, here, here, here looks good in the back as well same thing on the other side I uh, can't complain there uh, looks real good on the top you have that blue decal that you add over the uh, pinhole and then you have two decals to add to the uh, siren or the gyros uh, on up front uh, the plate I chose Zimmer because of the voice actress Constance Zimmer um, you know I'm a sucker for voice acting so there you go uh, what's left in uh, plates, uh, I have a, well, a strong arm, I can't find it now. There it is. You have strong arm and you, you walk, you, you condo. Maybe that's the, um, another voice actor for another language, uh, or a reference to the alt mode. I don't know. Uh, so, but Zimmer it is. So you have a new grill. Looks really good. Uh, and then, uh, little sides here, uh, all blue, uh, like pale blue or silvery blue uh, enhancement for the headlights and uh, the bottom. Uh, looks really good on the bumper. Uh, the Autobot logo is brand new. And what else? Pretty much it. I mean, you have the feet now that kind of look, well, they're still goofy, you know. Uh, so there you go. That's the decals for the, I like the windows. Like it's different. It's black you know, reflective black instead of uh, cell shaded or blue chrome. So looks good. No, I'm really happy. I'm going to end it here. I think this is a really good set. It's a pain to apply, not because of the decals, because every part is in the way of the other. So that's annoying. But actually the eyes were probably the easiest part, which is super rare. So no, but it's worth it. So I recommend this set. If you want to have a uh, uh, strong arm that stands out, go for it. 
So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.